गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल डो माइंड मी आई नो आई लुक डेड एंड ग्रीसी आई बिन वॉन्टिंग टू फिल नाइट टाइम स्किन केयर रूटीन फॉर अ वाइट आई हैव अपलोडेड अ फ्यू स्किन केयर रूटीन मोस्टली फोकसिंग ऑन ए एम स्किन केयर रूटीन एंड आई थॉट आई शुड रिकॉर्ड अ पी एम स्किन केयर रूटीन सो आई कैन शो यू कैस हाउ आई वाइंड डाउन फॉर द डे एंड वॉट कैन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स यू आई यूज एज पार्ट ऑफ माई नाइट टाइम स्किन केयर रूटीन एंड दैट्स वाई लुक लाइक दिस दिस हाउ आई एंड अप लुकिंग आफ्टर अ डे ऑफ गोइंग आउट एंड आई ट्राई समथिंग न्यू टू डे अवॉर्ड peel colored eye eyeliner and this is how it done out the first thing i do after i come home is i need to change out of my clothes and get into something really, really loose and comfortable that is that i have to do that and if the people around me don't change into comfortable clothes that also bothers me because i need everyone to be comfortable i hate being in the clothes so i wore out for the day for the rest of the night i have to change out so that's what i've done i just changed into my jammy and the second thing i love to do is to wash my hands and to wash my feet i cannot go 5 minutes without doing that after i enter my house we for sake of this video i haven't washed my face that's why i look like greasy ball because i want to walk you guys through the skincare routine for the night first things first i remove my makeup to be honest with you guys i don't always use makeup remover because whenever i skip on foundation and just wear eyeliners and a bit of lipstick i directly go in with the face wash because my eyeliner is kind of water based it's not like those water resistant ones so it just it just comes off pretty easily and my lipstick is almost off by then so i end up skipping on makeup remover or anything like that because face wash does its job and sometimes i'm just lazy so i never really invested in a proper makeup remover which i rarely use it anyway and when i do need to use something to remove my makeup properly like today because i'm wearing like waterproof kajal on my eyes as eyeliner follow this i go in with coconut oil because it works really well on makeup before i go in with my face wash this is just cold pressed coconut oil that i got from a store near box and this works fine it's pretty cheap option to you and i use a cotton pad to go with it these cotton pads are from miniso this also really removes the gunk from the day on your skin because i have dry skin using an oil before i wash my face and just acts like a barrier which makes sure that my skin doesn't get dried up now that i've removed all the makeup in my skin still has a lot of oil on it so i'm going to go in with a cleanser now today i'm going to be using biocules aqua boost hydrating gel cleanser this one has hyaluronic acid aqua porin booster which is something that makes sure that your skin cells remain hydrated so it works really well for dry skin especially dry and dehydrated skin my skin type is dry and dehydrated so i end up using a lot of hyaluronic acid so having a face wash which has these properties is a great option for dry skin people the texture of this face wash is almost like a gel it feels super fresh and hydrating and this face wash really works well on makeup it was really hydrating and soothing to my skin after a long day Next I go in with a toner to just wet my face before I go in with serums and this is my favorite toner I've mentioned this in a few videos already this is my third bottle of this toner so you know how much I love this while my face is wet I go in with a hyaluronic acid serum because my skin is dry and rehydrated and I make sure to use a hyaluronic acid serum as part of my Night time routine. Today I'm going to be using Biocule's Aqua Boost Hydrating Serum. It has hyaluronic acid and something called Cerium. I'll put it on the screen here, which actually improves the structure and integrity of your skin cells. And it works really well with the hyaluronic acid to leave your skin feeling plump and hydrated. And I love when a serum comes in a pump bottle like this. It is super easy to carry around, and it just feels very compact. Serum is very watery and very light. It's not too thick and It's not sticky after you wear it on your skin. This one just smoothly slides on your skin, making it super easy for application. And it dries up pretty quickly, which I also because I have linked the products that I tried out in this video in the description box below. The next product is a relatively new product as part of my skincare routine. So these are under eye patches, uh, which work on sealing the moisture under your eyes. From the brand called Within Beauty, it has it has ceramide. I've been loving using this as part of my nighttime skincare routine. It gives a very cozy feeling to wear an eye mask after you've had a long day. Up. Because I work all day looking at screens and working with my laptop pretty much all the time, and also scrolling through reels. I like to just calm down at the end of the day with a patch like this under my eyes to like hydrate and soothe my. So I just like to wear something like this and kind of read a book 
while I wind down for the night. Because it has a lot of serum on it, it kind of keeps sliding down my face. So I'm going to be looking kind of weird for the next half of this video, trying to make sure it does not slide down my face. Please bear with me. I keep this on for around 10 to 15 minutes. While we wait for 10 minutes with this on, I thought I'll show you something that's part of my nighttime routine, but it's not part of my nighttime skincare routine. And those are books I'm reading. So currently I'm reading Normal People by Sally Rooney. I haven't watched the series and for a long time I postponed watching it so that I can read the book. And I finally picked it up after a long time. And I'm not sure how I feel about the book. I'm not, I have mixed opinions. So I am kind of rushing to finish this so that I can have a solid opinion on if I like it or not. So let me know if you have read this book or if you want to read this book. And the next thing that's on my to be read list is Bothwing. I actually never read fantasy novels except for Harry Potter. I'm, I just picked it up because a lot of people rave about this and I wanted to try it out. But I, I don't know how I'll feel about this as well because I don't like fantasy. So let, let me know your thoughts if you are this book's fan. It's been 10 minutes so I'm just removing these eye masks. And the leftover serum, I just pat it in. I don't want anything to go to waste. I use a bit of it over my eyelids as well and just pat it in. So to seal all of this in, I go in with a good moisturizer. Your girl has dry skin. And if you guys didn't guess it already, this is the moisturizer that I use. It's Emoline and I love this product. It is pretty lightweight, but it does leave a very shiny look on your face. So that's why I use it as part of my nighttime skincare routine. And I lather it on like a lot of it on my face. I will link all the products that I try out in the description box below so you guys can check it out. The next step, I don't do this all the time but but I'm trying to get back into it is to use a gua sha but I have a separate video on using gua sha and trying it out for the first time and what the results were so please check it out. And the final step of my skincare routine is to go in with the lip balm. I'm using the Nivea. I think it's a cherry lip balm. I know when I've done a good job with my skincare routine, when I look like a glazed donut. So job well done. As always, I will link all the products in my description box. And I hope you guys like this video. Comment down below to let me know what you want me to try next. And I will see you soon. Bye. Oh, <laughs>